know about you, but there are times when I want or need some extra coverage from my foundation, but I don't want that coverage to look cakey or feel heavy on my skin. Today, I'm showing you step-by-step -step how to apply full coverage foundation that looks natural. I'm starting with skin prep and going a step beyond setting your foundation to ensure everything looks flawless and natural. Of course, you can use any full coverage foundation. This video is sponsored by Estee Lauder today, and I am using Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I've been using this foundation for over 20 years, and I have two videos that have done very, very well for my channel showing how I apply this foundation. A lot of you found me from that initial video. I'll have both linked below so you can check them out after you finish this video. Now, before I get started, if you are not subscribed to this channel, if you're new here, or if you've been watching my videos and you just haven't hit that subscribe button, and if you like everyday beauty made easy, realistic things, tips and tricks, reviews that you can take into your everyday life, that's what my channel is all about. So I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Now, achieving full coverage natural looking foundation isn't necessarily intuitive. I have a lot of tips and tricks in this video, so keep watching to see how you can get flawless yet natural looking coverage that lasts all day from your full coverage foundation. We can't really talk about natural looking foundation without talking about skin prep first. Now I do have my eye makeup on, but all I have done to my face is my skincare. I'll link my skincare routine down below in case you want to see it, but depending on the time of day and what you have going on, the last step of your skincare routine will either be moisturizer or sunscreen. Whether sunscreen or moisturizer is your last step, you want to make sure to give yourself several minutes to allow it to fully sink in before you go in with your makeup. I think a lot of people miss that step, so I wanted to be sure and cover that first. Now, it wouldn't be a foundation video if we didn't talk about primer. So if your foundation starts to wear away during the day or break apart, part you're not gonna really have that natural look anymore, right? Primer is designed to be a barrier between your skincare and your makeup. It's designed to help foundation last longer and wear better on your face. If you apply a foundation directly on top of a moisturized canvas, no matter how long you let it sit and sink in, the chances of it slipping away or breaking apart or wearing off during the day are a lot greater than if you applied it on top of a primer that was specifically designed for that purpose. And there are primers for every single skin type out there. Now, I know there are some of you out there that don't think that primer is a necessary step, and that may be the case for you. I do need it. I have oily combination skin. I have normal skin around the perimeter of my face, and I get oily, shiny throughout my T-zone. So let's talk about how much primer to use. A common mistake I see with primers is using too much. You really only need a pea size amount of any primer for your entire face to get the job done and sometimes even less. I usually use kind of press swiping motions to apply it in the areas that I feel need the most concentration. For me, it's my oily T-zone and then apply the remainder to the other areas of my face. Primers can not only help your foundation last longer, but they help your makeup, your foundation apply easier. They can fill in your pores and smooth the skin and correct imperfections too. And now I know there are some of you that swear you've tried every primer out there and none of them work for your skin. I understand. I was there. I thought primer was awful and it didn't work. I just hadn't found the right primer for me. But trust me, once you find the right primer for your skin, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how much more you'll like your foundation and the way your makeup looks and wears throughout the day. A lot of full coverage foundations can be kind of thick and hard to blend out. Ideally, you wanna use a foundation that applies easily and gives a nice amount of coverage with a minimal amount of product and that sets well. And that's one of the reasons why Estee Lauder Double Wear has been in my foundation life for so long. It just always gets rotated in. It's lightweight, it's oil-free, it's oil controlling, it doesn't clog pores. Even when I was younger and I was acne prone, I could wear this. I had no issues with it whatsoever. There are 56 shades. I'm in the shade 2W1 Dawn most of the year. In the summer, I wear the shade Rattan. Sometimes I mix the two together. It just depends on the time of year. Dawn is the shade that I will be applying in this video. Okay, let's talk about the tool to use for the most natural looking buildable coverage. 
Even if you are normally a foundation brush user, I recommend using a dampened sponge to apply full coverage foundations. We're gonna be applying this foundation in sections and we do want to thin out the coverage slightly so that we can build it up in very thin layers. With a sponge, not only is there zero chance of getting any brush streaks or kicking up any dry patches if you have that going on, but it will give you thinner coverage. So you wanna take your sponge and get it as wet as you can possibly get it. Squeeze it out as you're running it under the water to make sure it's thoroughly soaked through and then squeeze it out with your hand as much as you can to get the excess water out and squeeze it out again in a towel to get out any excess dampness and that is how damp your sponge should be. Just very very slightly damp. Now most foundation tutorials that you see here on YouTube have you dotting foundation all over your face and then blending it out. Instead of doing that, the best way to get a natural look from a full coverage foundation that sets pretty quickly is to blend it out section by section. To do this, dispense some of the foundation onto the back of your hand or onto a palette and dip your sponge into a small amount, a bit less than you think you need because you're only working in sections of your face at a time and bounce your sponge onto a section of your face. I usually start with the lower half of one side of my face and then move on to the other side, blending the two sides together as I go. And then I move on to my nose and then my forehead. For a more natural look or actually for any day, I recommend not taking foundation into the under eye area. You just don't want too many layers here because it can look really cakey, really fast and emphasize any texture or fine lines. And then when you go in later with concealer, everything will blend together really nicely. Nicely. Now I'm only doing half of my face for this demo so that you can just see the coverage from one side to the other when I'm done. Look at the difference from one side of my face to the other and how the skin tone is evened out and perfections are hidden, yet it doesn't look heavy. That's pretty incredible, even with this really thin layer. Now to keep everything cohesive, you may need to bring some foundation onto your neck. This will ensure everything matches properly and looks extremely natural. And also don't forget about your hairline. You want everything to be as seamless looking as possible. Because we applied a thin layer and still achieved nice coverage, from our full coverage foundation, we can now assess things and decide if we need more coverage. If you feel like you need another full layer, another full thin layer, then by all means go ahead. It will look so much better because you're applying two thin layers. To keep it even more natural though, you can just layer with small amounts of foundation exactly where you need to layer it. Now it's time to conceal under the eyes and spot conceal if you even feel like it's necessary. When I conceal or correct, underneath the eyes and I want a more natural look. I do use my damp sponge sometimes, but a lot of times I like to use my fingers. I feel like it warms the product up a little better and it just looks really natural. It's just something I've been liking lately. Today I would say I got medium full, maybe full medium coverage using only one thin layer of Estee Lauder Double Wear and I have on my concealer. Now's the time you would apply any cream products if you were going to apply those. And now we're gonna talk about setting and finishing your makeup look. Many full coverage foundations have decent wear times and Estee Lauder Double Wear has 24 hour wear. It won't crease or settle into pores for 24 hours. That's another reason why I love this foundation so much. It has held up for me so many times in this horrendous heat and humidity here in New Orleans. It's pretty amazing. Setting your foundation and concealer will help them last even longer, and it will also allow your powder products that you apply on top, like your blush and things like that, it will allow them to apply so much better and look better since they'll be gliding over a smooth surface. If you haven't found a powder that you love or an application method that truly works for you for your face or your under eyes, it's definitely worth looking into. I will link my videos down below for you because they've helped a lot of people. And there's also a step that we can take beyond applying the powder that will help things look even more natural. And I will show you that here in a little bit. This setting method looks super natural on any skin type and just melds all the layers together. To those of you who have not seen this method and haven't applied powder this way, it might seem kind of crazy because you're actually going to dip your damp sponge into the powder. This is not 
baking. This is just applying your powder with the damp sponge. It's gonna look like we're applying a lot more powder than we would if we applied with a brush. But when you dip that dampened sponge into your powder and press it into your face, it just fuses all of those base layers together and it really locks everything in so that it will stay looking natural longer throughout the day. And you can see how the powder just starts to sink into the skin. And now we just dust away any excess with a brush, which is actually a very minimal amount. To make your makeup look even more natural or less powdery, if you feel like you're looking a little bit powdery, before you go in with any of your powder color cosmetics, if you're using any, we're gonna go in with a facial mist. You can use any that you like. This isn't the same thing as a setting spray. This is a skin mist or a facial mist. This is gonna help take away that powdery look, that powdery feel, and help fuse those base layers together even further. And you can then finish the rest of your makeup. Once your makeup is complete, you can stop there or you can use a finishing powder or a setting spray, whatever you like. Now you can use any full coverage foundation. There's a reason why so many people love Estee Lauder Double Wear and why I've been using it for so many years. It's a choice foundation for me when I want a foundation that's gonna last all day. It gives me a natural matte finish and it just never looks heavy or cakey. It looks really beautiful and it stays looking beautiful all day. If you're wanting to see if Estee Lauder Double Wear is the right foundation for you for that full coverage but still natural foundation look, Look, you can visit an Estee Lauder counter near you and get a free eye match for your perfect shade with a free 10 day supply. This video was sponsored by Estee Lauder. I love doing foundation videos for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions about any part of this video. If you haven't seen my updated how to apply Estee Lauder double wear without getting cakey video, I'll have that linked here for you so you can check that out. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, become part of the family. I hope you found this video helpful. It was a lot of fun to do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.